Hey guys, it's Tio here. Today, I'm gonna just make a quick tutorial showing you all how to make the text you're seeing right now on screen. So, without any further to do, let's get into the video. Oh, and in this video, you won't need any plugins, so don't worry. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to grab your text. So for this, we're gonna be using Text Plus. So you're just gonna drag that out into the open. It doesn't really matter how long you have it, you just wanna have a, like a fair bit, you know, like a little bit. Um, sorry if I'm bad at this, it's my first time doing this. Um, so you're gonna make your title say whatever you want to say. For me, I'm just gonna say, what's up, I don't know. And um, you're gonna choose whatever font you want. Personally, I like using, uh, where is it? It is called Dosis, and I like using the bold version of it. Uh, so I'm just gonna increase the size here. And then, so as after you've got your text, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to shading, and this is where you get that like red outline or any other type of outline that you'd like. And so to get that, you're gonna go select element, you're gonna click on two, and then click on enable. And when doing this, you'll see that outline is there, but to get it to that nice thickness that we like, uh, you're gonna drag this out to 0 0.7, so kind of like this. Yeah, yeah, like that. Um, and then after you do this, well, after you do this, we're gonna go straight into the kind of transition, how it pops up and pops out. And yeah, so let's get into that. All right, so now what we're gonna do to get those nice pop in and pop out transitions, is we're actually gonna make them in the Fusion page. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna click on our clip, right click, and then go open in Fusion page right here. And now doing that, it'll bring up this little page here. And so we're gonna use what's called a tra transform node. And so to get that, we're gonna click on this button here. And it could bring it up on your line, it could not. If it doesn't bring it up on your line, don't worry. But if it does, uh, don't worry, don't worry as well, because it's already on your line. And so to, to get the transform on your line, what you're gonna do is you wanna drag this off of media out, drag up transform, and then go template, drag onto transform, transform, drag onto media out. And so now the transform is connected and on your line. <clears throat> And from here, to actually make the transitions, we're going to be using this little size key right here and keyframes. So we're going to go to the very first frame right here, keyframe, the very last frame, keyframe. And so from the very last frame, using the arrow keys, we're going to go seven frames to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keyframe that and then go to the very first first keyframe and go seven frames to the right so one two three four five six seven keyframe that so we're going to go back to your first keyframe sorry about this and we're going to change the size to zero and then go to the second keyframe size should already be at one go to your very last keyframe change the size to zero and on your second last keyframe, the size, size should already be one, so you don't have to wait. Right. So now that we've got those keyframes done, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, go to this little spline tab right here, click on that, and it should bring up our graph. If there's no graph, don't worry. All you're going to do is go to this transform one and click the little box next to it. That's going to bring up this. So the way that we do our transitions is you're going to... First of all, I'm gonna click on this to zoom it up a little bit, get closer in. And we're gonna click into the open and we're gonna make this little box. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it gets this point and this point into that box. So like that, that would be a good box. So you're gonna do it, make sure that these points are green and then, you wanna, and then you're going to want to hit S. And in doing that, that's gonna make it smooth for s and it's going to make it um curved so it's going to be easier so if you click out don't worry just make another box you're here and i'm just going to zoom in using zoom out i mean using control so the way we're going to do this is i'm going to bring pull this line right here 
and that was originally down here. Pull this all the way up. I'm going to pull this to 1.3 right here. And then this line right here, I'm going to pull this to 1. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Like, just like that. Just past 1. And so if we go here, if we play that back up the top, it's going to show you what's up. Um, and now we're going to do basically the same thing on the other side, although it's going to be a bit reversed, should I say. Um, so we're going to drag out, drag our box, going to get the two points, press S for smooth, and then we're going to want to drag these points out. It's basically the same side, but opposite. So this little point down here is all the way up there. So now this little point that was down here is going to be all the way up here at 1.3. Yeah, that's good. And then this little point that was right here gonna drag to right there so now if we play it pop in and pop out all right that looks good so you're basically done now for the most part um, so we're gonna get out of the fusion page but by, by doing that all you have to do is go down here to these three bars and click and so now you've got your own text what's up and then it pops up and so just to show you guys that it does pop out, I'm going to make another one. So what should we say? Hey, baby girl. We'll just do that. I'm smooth with it. So now we're going to go and play it. What's up? Pop out. Hey, baby girl. That's nice. Um, if you want uh, your thing to stay up longer, instead of shortening and then doing the seven frames, you're going to want to have it long and do your seven frames here. So yeah, um, that's about it for your pop in and pop out. That's how you make the text. Um, if you do want the white background that I have here, all you're going to do is go to toolbox and then go paper. I just typed in pap, but it'll come up either way. Drag paper, drag it underneath. You'll see that it's there now as a little background and of course you can use this for your gaming clips so I've got a gaming clip right here drag hey baby girl onto it and, uh, a couple frames in you can use it just maybe lower the size and then drag it at the bottom and you can use it in your gaming clips so yeah that's how you make the text well, um, I know the tutorial was a bit rough. This is my first time making these types of videos. So, um, if you learn anything or you want to see more of these types of videos, sub and leave a comment asking what you want me to make. And I'll reply like it and even make a video. I'm not sure. But that will be the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please sub, I'm desperate. I'm so close to 100. Thanks. Hehehehe <laughs>